quite a rugged road. From one vantage point, as one looks over on the salt flats at a certain time of the day, one can see the old emigrant tra tracks, tracks of the wagon trains, all is seen as kind of a rusty spot in the lake bed. It would be right here, looking straight in the pic, straight out in the picture. However, it did not uh, show on the camera film. Here we are again, westbound train out of Wendover, climbing the hill. The Southern Pacific was still, still detouring on the Western Pacific. And here's an eastbound Southern Pacific train coming into Wendover. The WP would not take any Southern Pacific trains unless they had four or more units. Here we are at Wendover. And here comes number 102, Southern Pacific train, city of San Francisco. This train was passing through the siding. The WP westbound was holding the main. The track has been raised with jacks, and this plow is about to be inserted between the bottom of tie on the suspended track and the subgrade. After the plow has been inserted, we have a work train consisting of an engine and a flat car. Flat car has a special attachment for the plow. Here you see it. This is capable of moving side to side depending upon the needs of curvature in the track. As the track is suspended above the plow and the plow moves under the track, the uh, poor or poor type poor type of ties are removed so there you have a tie removed the track is suspended the mud and stuff is, has been already removed from the track the track starts to settle down on the new subgrade. And following that, the new ties are inserted while the track is still somewhat suspended in the air. This shows a view of, of the track bed underneath the tie. This was a road crossing, or this is a road crossing. The ties were bad, so all the, 
all the uh, ties uh, were removed and replaced with new ties. The ties are being spaced. and straightened. Here we see a batch of new ties installed. This roller is towed by the, uh, the train and the purpose is to knock all dirt sticking to the ties to dislodge the dirt. This roller is applied just ahead of the plow. And then following, following this work, the surveyors come along and set center stakes. Then ballast is applied and the track is raised. That is not the finished alignment. Here is the jack which raises the track through the ballast. Every third tie is shovel tamped and this is followed by a Pullman tamper. And following that, we have a ballast regulator to not only shape up the track shoulder, but to distribute the ballast along the shoulder. There being some spots that are shy of ballast, other spots with excessive ballast. Here we have a track liner. These fellows were brand new on the job and they have not as yet been able to accomplish a good job. And while they were moving the track horizontally, they also accidentally raised the track here and there. This, of course, destroyed the, uh, the smooth surface. Notice the, the uh, fellow sighting the track and giving signals. This man is approximately 75 to 100 feet down the track. You see he's waving his arms there, right or left, he says. But notice the track surface left in a poor condition. Notice the 
voids underneath the ties resulting from those fellas raising the track. Here's a bit of alignment is is uh, just unnerves a person with an approaching train. But they got over it at five miles an hour. Sacramento Northern Trip, 1948. This is Oakland, 40th Street, 40th and Shafter. The old sign there, there's the head end. The two locomotives. One locomotive on the rear end pushing. And I rode that locomotive and took these pictures. Here we are going up Shafter. Avenue. Havens. This is just about where the BART uh, tracks and the freeway pass over the old Sacramento Northern. Here's the old pentagraph. You'll see that palm tree to the right there in pictures I've taken or have been taken of the Sacramento Northern. Here we are going through the Temescal area. Montclair District. Around the curve into Shepherd Canyon. These grades, incidentally, can be seen today if you look in the right place. Clear Block, Havens, about ready to go into the tunnel. And here we go. East port, east end of the tunnel, down through the Redwood Canyon, heading towards Moraga. Here we are at Moraga, Moraga Station. Notice the pilot wheels on the engine trucks. St. Mary's College. We dumped the little ballots there for the section. Spoke wheels on the caboose. Lafayette. It's Lafayette Siding. Approaching Saranap. This is about where the West Switch of Saranap was. There's a westbound train in the siding at Saranap. There's Walnut Creek. Trinity Avenue. Notice the nut house on the left. Treat Lane, Treat Lane Crossing, Concord, there's the siding and the spurs paralleling Port Chicago Highway and over Omer Hill at, at uh, Port Chicago. We hear the train. Here we 
went to lunch. Or we went to beans is better known or better stated. Still at Port Chicago. This is underpass. Sacramento Northern passes under the Santa Fe and the Southern Pacific. And then finally we reach the pier at Mallard. This is near West Pittsburgh. Now we are on the ferry. The freight train has been put on a ferry to cross to Chips. Now you'll notice how he lowers the trolley as he passes over the insulated section. This is the Calusa branch, and the, uh, this is at Meridian, the bridge at Meridian, over the Sacramento um, River. Calusa branch, this is the Oroville branch between Tres Vias and Thermalito. That's Jack Kelly, Roadmaster, holding his hat because the uh, ties are in such poor condition. This is the main line near Gridley. This is the main line down near Oakland. This is picture taken in the Redwood Canyon. This picture is taken from the Harold Greer's High Rail as we make a trip through the Shepherd Canyon Tunnel. Sacramento Northern Freight. One of the last trains out of Oakland. Here we are at, uh, in Oakland on 12th Street. The trackage you see there is the new connection from the Oakland Terminal over to the Western Pacific. Clarence Moser on the WP High Rail bridge inspection trip at Pittsburgh. Charlie Elliott. Uh, rather, Charlie Forsyth, division engineer, and Glenn Curtis, superintendent. This is on the Tidewater Southern. It's 
Stanislaus River Bridge. Harold Greer's high rail. Harold Greer was roadmaster at the Tidewater at the time the picture was taken. You can't scare these kids. Here we are at the uh, high water on the Sacramento Northern be between Pittsburgh and West Pittsburgh. This is the winter of 1958. Here we are on the Woodland Branch, high water. In fact, the water is percolating through the subgrade here. John Connolly and Pat Kelly, West Pacific, Roadmaster and Section Foreman, pictures taken in San Francisco. Tidewater Southern, the derailment due to a cock switch. The fireman was practically killed. He's a vegetable today. The cock switch was set by vandals. <laughs> 